Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to your ITSC Match Day Preview, coming to you on a Tuesday. Bit of uncharted territory for us here, but welcome one, welcome all. Do get active in the live chat, let, you, let me know you how you're feeling ahead of tomorrow night's return to Portman Road, and can we get back to winning ways, obviously taking on Watford in Championship Action. Leeds are playing, uh, well, they're five minutes in as we speak uh, at home to Sunderland, currently nil-nil there. We'll try and keep you up to date as we go through the through the hour. But if you're watching on catch-up, you already know. So you won't need me to keep you up to date. But if you are watching on catch-up, welcome. Thank you for choosing Talking Town FTA. Comment for that algorithm. And whether you're watching live or on catch-up, there are two things you can do for absolute free. That is, hit the like and subscribe and help Talking Town march. March as we march our way on towards... I don't actually know what number we're marching towards. <laughs> I should do. I only looked at it like 20 minutes ago, but I've forgotten. Doesn't matter. Charlie says we don't bounce back uh, and win tomorrow. We are screwed of top two. Charlie says we're, if we don't back, win tomorrow, we're screwed of top two. What do you think of that? Cruncher, let James Warren Elmer know that there was a live show tonight. So good work, Cruncher. Well done. Uh, lots of people coming in. So yeah, Watford tomorrow night. Do let us know your thoughts and feelings. There are a load of games tomorrow night. Actually, there are one, two, three, four, five, six games in the championship tomorrow night. And you can be part of Match Bingo and you can win money maybe off those six games. I don't know. Go and check out Play Match Bingo, win cash prizes. If you're a sports enthusiast, which of course you are, you're already here. So you're already a big sports enthusiast. Two pounds of bingo card, free bingos. And every time you play, you are also supporting or or helping to support uh, the crucial work of the East Anglian Air Ambulance. How you play is on your screen right now, but it is 2024. Um, even my dear old nan has a smartphone and she could download the Match Bingo app. You just have to go to your app store, Google Play, wherever it is, um, and download. So over 18s only. Be gamble aware. Information's on the screen as we uh, as I. Well, not as we speak, that's my face has just come back, but it was on the screen. So jump back 10 seconds uh, and you're going to find it. Jeremy says you're late. I am late. Correct the Monday. Yeah, sorry. I'm always late. You know me, Jeremy. You know me, Jeremy. Never early. Never early. Never ever early. AD says five wins equals Premier League. Um, Jack, this is Ipswich. We always worry. Absolutely. Alex says Phil Watford is going to be a tough JT starts for me tomorrow. It's Yeah, well, a little spoiler. He is in my team, which I'm going to discuss with the boys a bit later on. But he is in my team as well. Right, joining me this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whenever you're watching, is the cruncher Richard Moss and Matthew Phillips. Welcome in. How are we doing? Good all evening, good. everybody. How are we all doing? Everyone yeah. cheered up yet? Yeah. Everyone cheered up? Everyone calm down? Another big game on the horizon? Another big game on the horizon. Watford tomorrow. Richard's clearly not calmed down. He's drinking red wine like it's a barrel. <laughs> just got some 19 crimes from the other day so i thought i'd have, have a crimes. little drunk it on um, friday night when we done the show didn't help us just have I'm, uh, today. I'm not on the alcohol tonight because i was on the alcohol last night Rich, oh here we, I go. Saw paul here weller, we go here we paul go. weller at the kiss pavilion shout to the top everybody fucking brilliant were you Love uh it. obviously you're in the seats weren't you because you can't stand no seats. Small. no hey. seats what standing only wait did you get it early <laughs> I got here fairly early, but you know, well, well, people kind of just left me alone. So I'd like my own little space. I could see well or perfect. It was great. Did, Loved it. Did anybody uh, recognise you? No, not tonight. Locally, but not not that one. It was good. Oh, they ran out. They ran out of Guinness. They ran out of Guinness, which is a nightmare for them because guess who's there next week? The Dubliners. Oh, they'll have a, a new delivery by then. Sorry, I just, I just had to Google Paul Weller. Oh, okay, I do know. If, oh if my god! Knows. Come on, you, you know, know Paul Weller. Listening to too Paul much fucking like, Aqua. Dr. Alban, what's the Hey, other don't you be this? dissing Aqua, mate. Don't you be Aqua. dissing Aqua. No, don't you be doing that. That's not on. That's not on. Some great tunes there. Ooh, 1-0 um, Man City. Way to Real Madrid. There you go. Look, great Welcome start. to Soccer, Soccer Saturday Midweek Special. Um, I'm Simon Thomas. This is Paul Merson. And... <laughs> he, was very, he was very professional after they beat us, I thought. You know, because he's in Simon the Jeff Stelling role now. Yeah. He, well, he's he, a pro, he, isn't he? Was, he, was, he was, like you, Martin. He would be. My father. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, to even be classed in the same bracket as me, he's doing well. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, Charlie says, Ali starts with more tomorrow's toast. Starts with a one going Clark in for Twinzabi. We'll get to that in a second. Before we do, obviously, we, we spoke very briefly, 11 minutes in total, it was on Sunday's show about the tickets. Has been a little bit of an update. Well, not an update, but maybe, well, yeah, an update. The club have said it wasn't quite 400 tickets. They've, they've refuted that claim. Not quite. Um, I was reading. So, 
just just to put a nice little bow on it very quickly. Anything further to add on on on? on I'm going to dub ticket gate, Rich. Be nice if they come out and actually said something, wouldn't it? You know, I think they it. Did. Well, not really. They haven't really answered anything there, have they? You know, they've just clouded it a little bit more. Oh, it was a few. Well, how many was it? Was it 10? Was it 20? Yeah. Was it 30? Was it 100? Yeah, yeah, was it 200? Yeah. Look, it is what it is. It's gone now. Let's Correct. see what happens if we get in the playoffs and we go there again. Let's see what happens then because um, it stinks a little bit, but we have to move on now and just put it to the back of our minds. And Well, yeah, and a class spokesperson, you know, said that the club was disappointed by the reaction. And added, whilst we won't get every decision, decision right, we'll continue to review They said they protests. had 10 complaints, I think I read. In people. all areas of the That's club and, and make improvements where necessary. i got a feeling that if we got them in the playoffs, Matt, you're not quite going to get that again. I think that's probably going to be quite the usher away. Do you think? How many comps for whole City? That's the next away game, isn't it? We want to know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Look, look, they did they say, "Look, we don't get every decision right." I mean, look, it was this was whoever thought this was a good idea. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's a well thought out. I mean, it's a well, it's it's, it's a good intentioned idea to reward your staff um, with you know. A, I mean, if I work for Chitown, I'd much prefer a, a cash bonus. But and you don't. By, we the, all. By, by the by, um, but it is a it is a nice reward for for, yeah, for the hard work that they put in. In, in the last 18 months, 12 months, in, and probably more in a lot of people's cases in terms of how long they've worked at the club. But what that, not going know, down a mine, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a war. Not a... They're getting paid. They're getting actually paid to do their job. And, and, people are, to... and people are paying out, like Matt said on Sunday. You're paying out a lot of money to follow the town, you know? We are, the down. town fans are the priority. Look, look, I've had good experience with the, the the town staff. They saved me bacon, didn't they? When I got me me ticket and I forgot it for the um, what game was that again? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Sheffield Wednesday. No, um, it was a Wednesday game, yeah. So they're they're fantastic, but look, it comes down to the Anglian derby. You prioritise your number one, which is your your fans, and as, as we said Sunday. Plenty of supporters have been going up and down the country. Nick Muller being one of them didn't quite get a ticket, I believe. Uh, he deserved. To, to be there, in my opinion. And if you've got the points, then you should have been there. That's my, mm. my take on it. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Job done. Um, John Jay says, think what ahead. If we make the playoffs, how many decent pen takers do we have at our club? I couldn't name oh, one. Oh, let's my head. not even go there. Point, we said we did say this Sunday. Who are the set piece takers? Who are the penalty takers? Yeah, let's, good point. Let's not get there. Yeah. Yeah. We, we might need that. that anyway, will we? We won't get that. We won't need that. We'll, well, we'll be top two. Leaf would take one. Oh, God, Martin's going. A there. lot of it depends who's on the pitch at the time. Because hold you know, on a minute, hold on a minute. He's done. He's done this on FIFA. He's had a penalty. No, I haven't. I'm FIFA. just thinking about you know, if, as, if I was Gaffer. If Leaf was on the pitch, he'd take one just because I think he'd be Broadly. better than than not. Might not, be on the pitch. Might not be on the pitch. Big Kiefer. No, but might not but be on the you, pitch. Do you think these McKenna was going Southgate? These players, and purposely these players, sub people on for a penalty shootout. Yeah. Well, it's like Matt just said there about Broadhead and Kiefer Moore. If you go by what normally happens with, with McKenna, Matt, they only play 60, 70 minutes anyway. That's true. Yeah. So they probably wouldn't be taking one unless they're coming off the bench. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, Can you imagine true. us being in a true. penalty shootout against Norwich? Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. We wouldn't be able to yeah. deal with it. Well, there we go. <laughs> we deal with it. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. But we're not going to get there. And as AD says, no, don't. No. We'll be too. Please. Yeah, exactly. They still will get there as well, don't they? Do you, think, what, do you think? Do you think? What, what, I mean, mm. what? Hang on. What gives you? This is Mike who said to me uh, the free kick at Portsmouth. What? Marlon Pack. Months ago. Marlon yeah. Pack. Good was hit. a saveable free kick. You can't. You. <laughs> Alec, he should have saved it. We, he'll, he'll know. He doesn't need someone saying that. Oh, Christian Walt would have saved that. Yeah, but most, but most <laughs> judgment on free kicks being saveable. That's what I'm sort of debating there because, like, that was never a saveable free kick from Marlon Pack, was it? Can you imagine no. like doing your can you imagine like doing your own job and then you're like in Tesco or whatever? And then like, someone comes up and she goes, Oh, so and so would have done a much better job than you. <laughs> it's yeah, like well, crazy, man. You do get that, you know. I, I, when I went, well, well, I did anyway when I worked at Tesco's. Perhaps it's just a personal thing towards me. I don't know. Um, but, what what yeah. department were you in? What department were you in? Oh, I can imagine I you on put, fruit and veg. I was, put, I was put all over. I was put all over me. Uh, did you have to wait this man? I'm freezing. The freezing I was like, Mickey Stockwell, mate. I was jack of all trades. Yeah, Mickey Stockwell. <laughs> 
Jack of all trades. I served, I think I might have even served him once, but but no, you, you always get, uh, oh, you know, I went to Leslie last week. She was much better. She was much faster or she was, or he was much, much this. It's comparisons, like, isn't it? People always want comparisons. Yeah, this is it. But um, Watford tomorrow, talking about comparisons under Tom Cleverley. A uh, bit of a different side under Tom Cleverley, Rich. They, they, they look... Like Why did you go your direction when you say Tom Cleverley? I try and do my Andy Tate impression. For those who don't know, go on YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not, apparently, apparently, Matt, they're allowed to call him. They don't call him Gaffer. They call him either Tom or Clevs. There you go. Did you know that? Well, because he's got he's got that kind of player relationship with them, hasn't he? Yeah. It's different. Like when Magilton took over, that was one of the issues, wasn't it? They went from like being mates to what? him being the yeah. Gaffer. He's not well, he? If I'm in charge, call me Gaffer. Boss. Four games. What is it? Four games. One win, three draws. Um, a bit like that burn when we played them. They he's, drawing, he's, turned them they? he's turned them around a little bit, hasn't he? And um, they're sitting in sort of mid-table. They're sort of going nowhere. No, Sort of not going to go down, not going to go into the playoffs. They're um, on the beach. They're on the beach down in Watford. See, this is a dangerous right. thing, isn't it? When you expect teams to come and just wave the skin. white flag and they've got the cigars on and the old flip-flops. Yeah. Sounds like me another on tequila, holidays, Another tequila, please. To you on um, your holidays. Yeah. But look, they've got some good players. If you look across their team, they, they've got some good players. They probably should be doing better. But yeah, it's like Trevor says, is it good or bad that they've got nothing to play for? It's a dangerous game, isn't it, Martin? Yeah, it's, a bit, yeah. it's a trap game, ladies and gentlemen. Famous oh, it is? Is it just a trap game? This is a trap game. This is a trap, a trap game. game. Because you fully expect them to, to roll up, having what, four draws, three draws, one win in the last yeah. five, mid-table, doing nothing, going nowhere. But But... Well, what for fans I've spoken to, and obviously I do know a few, sadly, because um, <laughs> my, yeah, my, my wife's dad's a Watford fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, absolutely. So it, the, the, their biggest sort of criticism this year of the team has been a little bit of a lack of leadership, but more so that the players are there, but it's they turn up for the games they want to turn up in, you know, the big moments. Um, right. Yeah, they don't come bigger than Portman Road, second yeah. place dip switch. You know, so it is a real, uh, you know, and we, and we saw that at Vicarage Road. That that was a team that really showed up. You know, it was a heavy touch from their centre half that opened the door for us to to grab all three points. They hadn't lost at that point, I don't think, when they'd taken the, you know, went at, 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 at a certain statistic. I can't quite remember it. Um, now I've said it, classic. Uh, but they have they have got <laughs> classic, classic. <laughs> Brain and mouth didn't quite engage at the same time until it was too late there. Um, but they, they have got some decent players. It has to be said and. It is a trap game, Matt. It is a big trap game. Save me, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> look, we, we were running towards adversity at Vicarage Road, weren't we? Because we went one down when Aladki made another mistake. What is wrong with that guy? And uh, put him one up. And then what Thank was you. Oh, you see, and, and that's what I was going to say. Right. That's what I was going to say. Because when they'd taken the lead, they hadn't lost at that point. But then I suddenly thought to myself, did we concede in that game? If I say this stat and we yeah. didn't concede... I'm going to sound like a right idiot, but I do now anyway. So that's all good. Anyway, back was, to you. Like, Rich, you were there, weren't you? That was Vazzy's first mistake, I think, all season, wasn't it? This is going back to November, right? I think it was November. Uh, was early December. December. December, wasn't it? Because it was the, oh, uh, yeah, it was the Tuesday night and then we played Norwich, didn't we, on the Saturday? I was at Butler's. Oh, it was the game before, was it? Yeah, yeah. That's when I was talking the shellackings. Obviously, we've beaten Borough and then we, we beat Watford and then we obviously drew with Norwich. But um, yeah, they yeah. took the lead, didn't they? Try to pass out from the back. Right. Mm-hmm. And then it ended in the back of the net. But yeah. um, we came back and it was it was a good win, wasn't it, on the night? It's um, tricky good. place to go. I think George Ken Hurst. Ken Seymour, remember him? Ken Seymour, yeah. that was one of my summer targets. I think he's not playing. Is he still there? He's not playing for them. I don't think he's in the lineup. But, um, yeah, he gave, uh, who was it? Was it Brandon Williams that night? Played, he didn't he? Did, he, got, did he get hold off at half time? I think he went off at half time, didn't he? Yes, he'd, I think you're right. He had yeah. a bit of a torrid time and... Yeah. Then Harry Clark come on, but it, yeah, it was a good win. Good win that wasn't it? It was, yeah, very. And I good, think yeah. it'll be. I think it'll be a tight game tomorrow night. I don't think yeah. I'm under any illusions that very town good. are just going to turn up and just roll this lot over because I don't think it's in town's nature to make it easy. Mm. No, okay. no, it certainly isn't. No, he's not, he wasn't in the match day squad uh, against Preston. Just to let you know, um, Ken Semmer. So I'm not quite sure if he's an injury or if he's not favoured. Uh, another one of your summer summer targets. Ints is, is is at the football club there, Matt. <laughs> Tom Very Ince. good. Yes. Every time I see Tom Ince from the football field, I go, Matt, what to sign him? Would you rather have him over Sean Neal Oko? At least he plays matches. Well, right. this is it. Yeah, I mean, that, that, yeah, he's got me there, Rich, to be fair to him. He's 
He's got me all, <laughs> all, all, all lines up there. How do you like Tom that counter punch? Tom Ince wouldn't get in our team. Wouldn't no. even get on the bench. But then, but we, we were talking about this, True. thinking that we were trying to cement a place in the championship, not actually be on the periphery of the Premier League. But that, that was the context of those signings, everybody. Oh, I think going back to the summer signings, I think, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think he was a bit experienced. A championship experience. Yes, Which, to be yes, fair, yes, if you yes. weigh up championship experience and contribution, he is ahead of so- Sean Aluko. Mm. That is a, that is a fair counter argument. Um, Janai Danassian obviously was given a new contract in the summer. He's still injured. Rich, um, this is a B. You've got a B in your bonnet. Yeah, he's you, been talking these? about it all day, everybody. Look, Aluko, I Aluko <laughs> agree with you. I remember I was driving to uh, Manchester to go to the awards last. Oh God, don't were. mention that. Yeah, I'm driving oh, no, back very Ill. Worse, Ill. Very for Ill. you or me. Very for Ill. you or me. But um. And I always remember, I right, broke it. Breaking news: Sonny Luco signed the new car. What? <laughs> Bloody hell! Uh, look, oh, JD a little bit different because I think he was playing a part at the start of the season, and he mm. just suffered from injury, you know. And now it's a case of he's just he's just not been able to get over it, has he? He's had, I think, groin trouble. He's had a bit of an operation. And I think he's probably he's played his last football for the football club boys because he's not going to come anywhere in the next five games because he's not fit. A bit like Brandon Williams, you know, we're still still waiting for him to return. You know, that's that's just that was just a <laughs> mental. Not, look, that we're was on just, game forty one. That's right, not a time. Yeah, but we always, I think we all knew knew that in the back of our minds. Anyway, he was never going to come back. So look, JD's been a good servant to the football club, hundred uh, percent, and he'll move on in the summer and hopefully he gets a good club. Because yeah. he's a good, he's a he's a good club man, isn't he? You know, he'll, he'll yeah. probably at a League One team, he'll do a really good job across mm. some several positions, Matt, in the back four. You know, not just. At right back, he can play centre back. He can play left back. Yeah, that's good, so, it's been good. And he was one of the. He's one of the only survivors, other with Caden Jackson, first. isn't it? Yeah, first. So yeah. I, I like Danassian as a man. I think he's a great. Uh, yeah. he's, he comes great across beard. as a really nice. You like man. the beard? Mm. Love the beard. Love the beard. Yeah, you know, just has to have that hair. Did you? you did you like it. that? Borgia's Science's haircut, the Norwich kid on the left no, hand side. You didn't. must have done. You no, must have no. done. No, he was, really, no, he, he, was wearing a Nor- he was wearing a Norwich shirt. Which Take that out means... of the next minute. The, you no, must have liked the hair. You can't. It's, no, you can't. I don't believe that. No, no even, believe even that. the hair connoisseur has, 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 has you know, the hair has connoisseur things, has things he has to. Is your hair connoisseur, are you? I like to think I am. I, I, you should see me on the bad hair. I'm always fascinated sitting here when I see Gov with them headphones on, Matt. And then when yeah. he just removes them, the hair just goes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And also, it takes for right. you to do your hair. Then are you like in the mirror for ages? I am before I go out. Yeah, he'd be looking slick tomorrow night, wouldn't he? And he's will off be. into the um. Yeah, the slick bit, bit of a problem though with that tooth he's got, Matt, and he's got beef on the menu. Oh, yeah. So is that on the menu? Yeah, beef on the menu. Cheers on this side. Sauteed so, potatoes. I've been, I've been to the dentist <laughs> twice. Friday and Monday. This is never great to and get a dentist still twice not in a week. It. And I'm still in more pain than the last time I went. And I'm just getting more and more. Like, Are I'm they going to take it out? In. Is it coming out? Well, they wanted to, but I wanted to try and save it. Is it a case of when you were young and they said, yeah, this t- tooth's a bit wobbly. Do you remember when you had a like, loose tooth and they said, tie a bit of string around it and tie it to the <laughs> door. <laughs> Slam yeah, the door. Oh, oh, it was that bad this afternoon. I was contemplating getting the pliers out. I was thinking, oh my Lord, this has got to come out. Do not do that at home, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't. It's still in. What well, what one. desperation levels were you at? That's got to be at least nine point five out of ten, surely. I was I was at. Do I drive to the dentist right now and say, "Look, I ain't going home until you see it." De- wow. Levels of desperation. Get the old bill because I can't move. It was that. It was that bad. Oh. It was. It still is. But I got some adult Bongella. Oh, very good. I'll rub yeah, that on it. That. Just mm. Slather that on there. Make it I as like numb as you adult possibly Bongella. can. <laughs> <laughs> Not the child something one. else. <laughs> no, not the child one. No. Um, question from Charlie. Well, not a question, really. A statement, which I think we can build a question off. So thank you for putting it in the in, in the in the chat, Charlie. He says, We are becoming the Chelsea of the championship. Far too predictable play style and concede oh. sloppy. We're not mid-table. Goals. <laughs> no? no. You do you agree? I mean, you both disagree. I, I clearly can see that from your faces. Um well, he's right about we do concede sloppy goals. I do agree with that. Are we predictable? I don't think so. We are second in the table, everybody. I think bloody hell, cut the, cut the team some slack. Jesus Christ, you lose one, you lose the East Anglian derby, and like everyone's like, oh, well, this is too sloppy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if, you look at every, if, you look at, if you look at the top four over the last few games, they've all dropped points. Not just town. You no, know, Leicester Leeds are coming are out of their slump, nil-nil at the minute still with Millwall, but Leeds have dropped points, you know, for Easter. What did Leeds do, Matt? That, or, and, and the weekend? 
One one, draw <laughs> one, lost one. Yeah. Town one two. So we've we've still maybe just fickle. This like... There you go. Look, James Warren Elmer. If we've done yeah. nine games yeah. out of eleven. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what, do, but... what do people expect? Do they actually expect perfection? Was it that Charlie? Well, Charlie, was this you put in the comments the other day? Oh, Keith Moore's been is uh, is overrated. Come on. No, he didn't say that. I don't think, I he, think, think he, said he was that. him, Charlie. But to be fair, a lot of people I've spoken to after the Norris. You know, I mean, for for a lot of fans, I would say, yeah, for, I'll say fans. For a lot of fans, the Norris game is probably you know, one of the only games they've seen this year, or when they really look at town. I, I don't know. I'm trying to make excuses for him. But one of the things I've heard this year after Norwich has been that plan B and how substitutions, perhaps even the subs we made on, on Saturday, are, are not changing a game in the sense of how we approach it, but are more just a different player fulfilling that role. Is that something you feel is hard? I mean, I, I, I would say it's harsh. I'll say that early because we're, we're sitting second. But would you would you agree with that, Rich? We don't oh. really have that plan B? No, because we've had subs who've come on who scored 23 goals. There I you mean, go. What? There you go. I don't. I don't. Honestly, sometimes do not know what people expect. If we'd have been sitting mid-table, agreed. If we'd have been sitting mid-table, yeah, we could have all had a bit of a moan up, you know. But it was still would have been your first season back in the second tier for four years, and you're finding that you're finding your feet. Yet we've lost six games. Yeah, Correct. we didn't play well Saturday. We we know we didn't play well, you know. But it's. They're not robots, like you said on Sunday, Matt. You know, they can't... Look, illness in the camp. They've had a lot of football. Look, it's... It must be quite sort of taxing as well. When you come to this stage of the season... And we haven't got the biggest squad, either. No, and, it is, and that's where that's, that's where I was going with, with, with the whole JD you look thing. At Leif, it's you look at, with injuries, Yeah, it? when you look at Leif Davis, Saturday, probably running on fumes. Because he's had illness. Yeah. You know, so... But he has to play because... You've not really got any other backup. You could play Harry Clark over there, but because yeah, you lost you know, Brandon, yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. But then they they put their eggs in that Brandon Williams basket. We look, you could ask that question. You'd love to, you'd love to get like Matt says, the local media to sort of drill down sometimes and ask these questions and <laughs> why? Do, why, why what, but what? <laughs> why did we stick by Brandon Williams? Was it because they couldn't cancel his loan con deal? I don't, I don't know. But we stuck with him. Look, anybody with probably any sense, they knew he wasn't coming back. So mm -hmm. immediately you're a player down there. You've got no Danassian yeah. as well. I know we've got Don Ball who can play right back because we see it in pre-season, but he hasn't <laughs> played this. But no. you are leaving yourself a little bit, bit open to certain players this guy. <laughs> that they have to play. And I see, like you say, Charlie there a minute ago saying, Kiefer Moore shouldn't play tomorrow night. Why? You've signed him on loan. You've signed him on loan to replace George Hurst. He's the yeah. light for light replacement. You still have to. He has to play. As long as he's, he's fit, if he's fit, he has to start. I'm sorry, he does. The, 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 I agree, fully. The the harshness of all these critiques is just uh, makes me laugh. Why do you think the media are all talking about Ipswich Town and McKenna? Because what we're doing this season is rarer than chicken teeth. You know, what did Chris Hall say right at the start of the season? Chicken when we teeth. Our, chicken don't mention teeth. teeth. Don't mention teeth. Please don't. <laughs> What did Chris say when he came on the show? Oh, team, very rarely do teams go from League One into the Championship these days. You're competing with clubs coming down from the Premier League. The, the parachute money's changed astronomically in the last few years. Yet here we are with five games to go and we're second. So as Rich used to say before, enjoy it. These are memories. The Southampton game, great memories. Yes, Saturday wasn't a great memory, but look, what, who knows what tomorrow will bring. We're doing fantastic. Get behind those players. It's the players that have got, we've not done it. The players have got us to second with five games left. So. Give some respect to them players. That's my take on it. Some of us said top two, as AD, AD, yeah, AD remembers. Oh, the, yeah. streets remember. the streets remember. The streets um, remember. The streets remember. They do. They do. They've got long, long, long memory, those streets. But no, I mean, you are both right. And and that's that's what's part of the magic, isn't it? Of, of why, why we are where we are and, and where we're going. Yeah, because you have got a squad that, you know, you, miss, you mentioned Don Ball there. He perhaps, you know, he isn't a top six player, perhaps. Perhaps he's a bottom half championship player. Perhaps he's a League One player. You've still got the squad made up of players that perhaps aren't going to be taking you where you need to get to. Yeah, agreed. Um, and once you skim that top surface of, of that squad, we said this in the summer. Once it's, you know, if yeah. you get injuries, you're going to get down to the, you know, the, the JDs, the Alucos, the Dombals, uh, the Marcus Harnesses. For many who don't, I, I like Marcus Harness, but for many who don't, don't rate him, which makes it even more powerful of what we're doing. And 
if it was Cardiff, if it was Rotherham, if it was Plymouth, if it was insert any other championship name, Rich, on Saturday, there wouldn't be half the knee-jerk reaction. Honestly, yeah. Seen. And when you're losing at half-time 1-0 and everyone's a bit yeah. nervous, oh, we're losing at Norwich, ah. you, and you're looking and you're thinking, oh, here we go again, 15 years and all that. Like you said, if it had been someone normal, you, 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 you'd you have been a little bit concerned, but you'd have probably still been thinking, we'll, we'll come back, wouldn't you? I think you'd have spit there. <laughs> if it was someone normal, someone normal. Not normal. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It wasn't our, our local rivals. Yeah, but, yeah. And I've I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Man for man, the the two the three Premier teams that come down, Leeds, Leicester, and Southampton, they've got better players than us. I yeah, I, yeah. I can say that with my hand on my heart. I, it doesn't it doesn't bother me that they've got better players. Like I said, what they haven't got is as good a team spirit as we've got. Or you know, that's taken or manager exactly, maybe, yeah. and they've taken yeah. us this far. And yeah. look, like I said on Friday, it could end. It could all end in glorious failure, Matt. But still, you still have people coming in moaning if we don't go up. Oh, we were second. We should have gone up. It's Probably that entitlement. It. It's that entitlement <laughs> yeah. when you're doing so well and expectation yeah. gets raised. And yeah, I get that expectation gets raised, and the the players obviously know that. But we're still in a really really good position. Look tonight. You're looking at the scores at the minute. If they stayed that way, it'd be great. If even one mm. result went our way tonight, it'd be great. But mm. at the end of the day, I've said before, we've still got no control over them. We've still got destiny in our own hands. If we go and win five games, I know it's easier said than done with the fixtures that we've got left, but we just won like put on the James put on the chat there, nine out of nine mm. out of eleven. Phenomenal. Yeah, and mm. I just look at the international fixtures, the the fixtures after the international break, and, and we can't Leeds is really under underwhelming game was was the first game back after the break and 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 Daniel Fart was putting that down to players having played minutes for their country arrived arriving back late for us it was it was the Norris game we looked tired we looked jaded we looked like a team that had played mm. two games over the international break as everyone else has but also had players away on on international duty that had played a lot of minutes and you know had we beaten Norwich but lost against Blackburn or or Southampton the reaction would have been very different. But, but the points return is exactly the same and it hurts to, to lose against Norwich. Of course it does. But it ain't going to define us. And it shouldn't define your season, Matt, as Mike was sort of saying a little bit, I felt, on Sunday, where he was saying... Yeah, why would it? We, we said this for Why would two games against Norwich define your season when you've been competing for promotion hmm? all season? Over, you know, over... 40, what, what were we on a moment? 41 games, is it? 40 games? Yeah, this will be, be game 41 tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, bloody... I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, just imagine the effort of those players. Tuesday, Saturday, mostly. Coming out of League One and playing crap like Forest Green and they're going to go out of the Football League and get relegated into the National League, playing that kind of opposition to the level that we saw on Saturday and when we played Southampton on Easter Monday. I mean, it's chalk and cheese. The, 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 the talent levels are chalk and cheese, yet they've stepped up and done it. It's phenomenal. Mm. And, you know, we've had blips. Fair enough. We'd all take losing to Norwich if we get promoted top two. We'll all take well, it. you say that. Right? Well, yes, no, if we can promote, definitely. But Mike's puts in the chat, last comment on the Norwich game before we go to Watford. Imagine this. Lose to Norwich. He doesn't say Norwich, but I'll put Norwich. Lose to mm. Norwich in the playoffs because that could and may happen. Do we celebrate the season? That's such a doomsday. Like you said to me earlier, like, when we talk about something else, doomsday scenarios, isn't it? You're doomsday you know, We've been so good all season. Now everyone's thinking, oh, fucking hell, we could play Norwich in the playoffs and they'll beat us. I... I, 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 I would still, like I would still say, if we why finish third, like that? it's a, it's a hell of a season. This season, however it ends, is a hell of a season. I'm not it's having anything else said about this season. You've, Rich, had memories, you've had memories to last a lifetime, man. I think he's been brilliant. Why have I suddenly got this doomsday thing going? Oh, we'll play Norwich and they'll, they'll, they'll beat us. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, I have a bit more confidence in a side that was in League One last season, sits second with five games left. Weird. Stick, stick Weird. this squad, Rich, up against the other three squads in the, who, who we're challenging with. Two squads now with not Southampton out of it. Yeah, we did that. We knocked Southampton, uh, Southampton out of the race. Most people would choose probably 11 players from the other two teams. They wouldn't even yeah. look at, at the squad. We, we, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's, it's, it's chicken shit, but we're making chicken salad out of, out of something. Do you know what I mean? Like it, We're making something wonderful here. So how this season finishes, Rich... But if if you take Chris's comment there, it is we could play for another ten seasons, not be in this position with five games to go. I do I do take that on board because nobody knows what happens in the future, and you do sometimes have to grasp that opportunity when it arises. And the players will know that, and that is probably 
that'll give, probably put a little bit of added pressure, Matt, on them, if I'm being honest, because like a player like Sam Morsi or Massimo Luongo, you know, they're wrong side of 30 now. They're not going to have many more chances of playing in the top flight of English probably football. It for Morsi, I'd say. This yeah. Is probably it for Morsi, right? So it's, you, you sometimes have to grasp that opportunity, but look, whatever happens, I, you, you can't you can't sit here with five games to go and say if this happens, if we play Norwich, if we lose, mm. we yeah. don't know what's going to happen tomorrow night. First, absolutely. Uh, Ian says we have players who are very good at League One players and can do a job in the Championship against players who have played in the Premier League. McKenna's done a great job, and we were shit against Norwich. Absolutely. Right. Watford tomorrow then. Um, off the back of that disappointing, flat, uninspiring performance against Norwich. Uh, was, you that, expected was, that a, asked, we... was that asked in the media, by the way, Brian? Did anyone see? Was that actually asked why they thought that performance come out of nowhere, basically? Oh, I would have but thought, has it come out know. of nowhere? That, to me, that hasn't... This has been brewing for a few games for me because I don't think we play well at Cardiff, Matt. I don't think we play well at Blackburn. For 70 minutes, we were by far second best against Southampton. Performance levels, for me, in the remaining five games have got to be raised. Because it's all right saying, and we have said it, and I've said it myself, it don't really matter how you play this stage of the season. It's all about the points. And I yeah. do get mm. that. But we do need to raise performance levels because I think if we play at a level that we've been playing at lately, I don't think we'll get the points required to get top two, if I'm being honest. I think we've just no. got to step it up. But then you could look, illness, a lot of fixtures. I know Mike will say, oh, we're not tired and all this. These players are not robots. These players are not robots, and they deserve. Mm. Yeah, they deserve criticism for for Saturday. Mm. Agreed. Yeah, but I wouldn't be binning them off. And saying, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, no, take it they weren't. Me. They're shit. They weren't trying all this. They were trying their hardest. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's just the things that you want to do. The passing, like you said, the passes that Morsi was doing, Matt. I've never seen him play <laughs> a ball back to a laggy from about fifteen yards. <laughs> at bloody. <laughs> Nearly at bloody nipple height, you know, and he has to like <laughs> yeah, volley it yeah. away. You know, that was so unlike us. Yeah, mm. it really was. It yeah. was. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. But yes, yeah. I, I think, look, you, you're right. And I think that what's the perfect recipe? Two home games against one that's a uh, mid table side in Watford and one that's on the, you know, an outside chance of playoffs in Middlesbrough. But those two back to back, I mean, look, if we've got aspirations and we've got to be winning those, and if we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. But let, let's see what other results come as well. Because, you know, I'm not in this, we were going to win all five of our remaining games. I'm not down with that at all. I mean, there'll be another loss in there, I'm pretty certain. But I think Leeds and Leicester will see losses as well. I think they will as well. It's just when you, like you say, Rich, it's when, can you capitalise on the moment that they have a, a bad moment? It's, Leeds, it's, could, Leeds couldn't do it against when we lost to Norwich, could they? Lost the it's, it's, yeah, and we all probably looked at the table then at what, half two, and then you see, and yeah. you think, oh, shit, come five o'clock. Come five o'clock, we're probably going to be out the top yeah. two, and then we did get yeah. away with one. We did get away with one there. Um, it's for me now. It's who makes the least mistakes in these remaining yeah. games. Indeed, yeah, you know, yeah. Point, yeah. And, and we've we've still got we're still a point well at the minute. Leeds are drawing nil nil with Sunderland. You know, look, everybody thought Sunderland they've been absolute pony. You, you don't know in this it. league. <laughs> Comes to take, <laughs> but you don't know. Do you? What did you say to me? Sorry, I, I wasn't actually listening to a word you, you, you were notes, saying. Yeah? You got 50 notes on uh, Sunderland beating Leeds? Uh, no. I, I, was reading, right? sorry, I, was, I was reading the live chat. They were much more interesting. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Because well, we stand, stand at half-time. Millwall nil-nil with Leicester. Come on the wall. But 37 minutes in, Leeds nil-nil with Sunderland. Look, Southampton have been Coventry 2-0. That, to me, oh, says yeah. when you go and play Cov, when you go and play Cov, they might be out there running for the playoffs. They might yeah. have nothing to play when we play yeah. them. And that then changes the context of that game. Exactly. So, yeah, you're totally right, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, George wants me to read this comment out of his. So I'm just going to read it out. I cried and cried my eyes at a point ready to get stuff. I'm going to watch it. If it's more than just football. Uh, being autistic, this would mean so much to me. I love this club. And I yeah, think that's yeah absolutely. We yeah, we all agree with that, George. Absolutely, yeah. okay. We've got to have a reaction tomorrow night, haven't we, Rich? That's that's the thing. We've got to have that, that Derby Day reaction. Yeah, look, as supporters, we're still a bit sore. Players, management, they'd have analysed this game. It's gone. From the game's gone now. We can't do nothing about it. You just have to look to the next one. Mm. Watford under the lights of Portman Road, a full house. Mm. Five games to go. Three at home. Home form this season. What, we lost one game all season to Leeds? That, that in itself is remarkable, I think. Yeah. So we should be confident. We should be confident going into this game. You know, there'll probably be, we'll probably talk about the team in a minute. There's probably going to be some changes. But 
I agree with you, Matt. You've got you've got two home games here this week that if you want to be in the top two come the fourth of May, you have to win these two yeah, home games. So. You have to. It's yeah. it's nothing really is acceptable now. But then you don't know because what results other teams do. You might think, oh yeah, look, Leeds against Sunderland. Sunderland might go and win that game tonight. Blackburn at Ellen Road on Saturday. You don't you don't know. But it, it 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 feels like if we win all three home games, that would take us to what ninety six points. Yeah, you're in really really good shape. And that's easier said than done. And look, look have, have we got easier games? Maybe some other clubs. I don't know. Huddersfield on the last day of the season. Will they be up? Will they be down already? Don't know. But it, it, it's as you rightly said earlier, Rich. It's still in our hands. And I think if you can get to ninety six points on your home form, and then see what you can get at Covel Hole, then. But we need Brilliant. everyone. We need Brilliant. everyone pulling tomorrow night. Like the yeah, people absolutely. saying yeah, about the atmosphere at Norwich yeah. was quiet, and we've gone into them reasons. Tomorrow night, leave all your negativity at the gate when you go in, because they them players deserve everyone to get behind them for ninety minutes, ninety five yeah. minutes, and we all do at Portman Road because the atmosphere is fantastic. We only just got to look at that atmosphere, Matt and Martin, against Sunday, um, Southampton. There, yeah. you know, it was fantastic, and it probably helped drag us over the line. We might need mm. that. You might be one all with twenty. 20 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go, which we have done in quite a few home games of late. But this this, um, this this group of players always pulls something out of the air. It was just, it was a little bit unlike them on Saturday because you think, yeah, we'll probably get an equaliser. We didn't, but tomorrow night. But look, that, there you go, Dominic. <laughs> yeah, Why yeah, are you yeah, being so right. negative? Imagine I if we go, I can't stand this To be fair, he's not, he's shit. not being negative. He's just saying, can you imagine? Uh, he's yeah. asking, he, I'll put that as a question. I'll, I'll just put that as a question. But you're putting it out there, aren't you? You're putting the negative so many times. There. But we've done it so many times, come from a goal down at home. True. I would, so I would say when we go a goal down. Because this is Ipswich Town still. Like This is what we do, right? Go a goal down, give you a head start, and then... um. But they're only yeah. going to be throwing rotten tomatoes at the players. Ah, oh, you're shit. You're losing one nil. I'll oh, fuck off more. So you're going to be you like that, aren't we? Get the old banner back out in McKenna. We rust. <laughs> they're, not, they're not going to be like that because we've got fantastic fans. You know, we're going to get behind them even if we're one nil down. We've seen some phenomenal, the phenomenal games, back. isn't it? Phenomenal games, Martin, under lights. <laughs> Rotherham, Bristol City, and we went. I don't want to run another. Us. Let's not have another Rotherham performance. Yeah, yeah. Penenka. Uh, I mean hospitality. No. I can't be swearing that much. Oh no! You can't. Are you, is it very quiet over there? You and with the comps? Yeah, it's very. Yeah, you, you know, it's, it's a mild applause. And is it? No, hang on. We are, no, it's not. You've got Walkie in there, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're giving it swearing from the back of the, the bloody surround floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, Walkie God. gives it for. He, he, he's great, as Walkie, because he leads from the front. You know, in the, in the way he shouts, he's waving. Can you hear his him? Arm. You can hear him from where you sat, can you? Yeah, he's only sat like either a row or at the end of the row. Okay. Um. And I'm I'm going to be set like two rows behind AD Croucher, so I'm going to be all eyes on AD Croucher. So what's AD like in a football legend. game? Hang on, hang on. Is Croucher in hospitality? No, but he sits two rows in front, so he, oh. he, he gets as close as he possibly can without, without having, having to spend bench. the money. Well, you, will you do a little doggy bag for AD and just sort of here we go, like a little bit of roast beef, you know, just no. stand it out? No, oh, come on. I'll say, AD, come and warm your hands on, on this window. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As you stand that oh, side. You get like um so so was it three courses? Is that what you get? Three courses, you know, uh, a little refreshment at half time, something at full time. It's great. I love it. I'm so thank Andrew and Paul have it's kindly given it to me again. It, I say thank you so much. It really is appreciated. So thank Sounds you, Andrew good. and Paul. But um it's great, it is amazing. Um yeah, pass yeah. me a prawn sandwich, says AD. There's no prawns. That's that that that, that that's a myth. Let me it's tell you, that's fun. a myth. <laughs> yeah. Even last time there wasn't, there wasn't. Um, yeah, so we've got to have a response. I want, I, George also wants me to read this out. I'm going to read some of it out. because Some of it I don't think George quite means. But he says, I have to say thanks to all you guys for giving, giving me a platform to talk. What the hell? Crunch it is a top, top I, th I don't think he meant to put that. To be honest Thank you, George. I, I, what a top I, man George is. Where's our, where's our plaudits? Ah, We're being high yards. I'm not reading the last bit. George. Out. Brilliant. George knows his onions. George is a very sensible young man. Yeah, yeah. See, some egos should, 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 they, they, they should not be fed, should they, Matt? And this no, is this. Exactly. This is exactly. like, you know. Raise a glass for George. Cheers, George. Glass? Cheers. It's a barrel crunch. <laughs> Bring the bottle through next time. It'd be a lot more civilized. Yeah, score um, the bottle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Here's my glass of wine, five litre bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He juggles it through. Fish bowl. Right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fish yeah, bowl, like bloody yeah. Yeah. Grand Canaria, baby. <laughs> Do you know when I, was, when I went to Dusseldorf? Oh yeah, they, they were serving drinks out of this porcelain loo. 
Is that when you missed the plane? Yeah, but I had a, a hell of a night out in Dusseldorf, let me tell you. Um, a possible and this might, No, like, like, like it was one of these little paws, you know, this little, it looked like a loo. It was yeah. shaped as a loo, but the drink was in it. Um, and obviously it was not at the loo before anyone starts. Um, at least I don't remember it being the loo. Um, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever had a drink in. Oh, I guess it's for Bayern Munich. Uh, Eric Dyer. <laughs> You know, scored for Bayern Munich. Harry Boy. To Harry of Kane. Go Yay. on, the Bayern Munchen. 2 1. I, 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 say Harry, uh, Eric, I, I say Eric Dyke because I hear he was sort of making a a case. I signed him. My to Munich. be in the England. All the players they could sign have signed him. Don't Weird. Know. Yeah. Weird. Um, he might be signing someone like him in the summer. Maybe. He's welcome. Rich. Rich. Govern Small. Govern a small guy, guy makes it to two. my top two. Sorry, forgot his name. George's taking the piss eh? here. <laughs> I've been on here all season. I've been on here four years, George. Don't worry. Oh, no. Small guy. Oh, I'll, read, I'll read that one out all day long, George. You can post that again and again. Oh, yeah, like. you're fickle, aren't you, on these comments? Yeah. You pin that Absolutely. in the chat. I could pin it. I'll frame it. Send it to him. I appreciate it. It's the sentiment, George. I appreciate it. it is he sentiment. knows who you are. Everyone knows who you are, Matt. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> right. My team for tomorrow is this. Would you make any changes to it, gentlemen? Oh, well, can, can you move us out of the way? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's oh, been a while since I, since so I did this. Oh, oh, it's been no, I've gone again. That'll do. That'll do. You know who's in the team. Clark, <laughs> Wolfenden, Burgess, Davis, <laughs> Taylor, Morrissey, Hutchinson, Chaplin, Broadhead, why and more. Why, ta- why have you put Taylor in there? What's going on? Explain your thing. This is really bizarre. I can't see Matt and I can hear his voice. Yeah. There That's he is. That's the best way to do it, isn't it? Um, Jack Why Taylor, because well, Matt has been a bit, Leggy? bit jaded Leggy um, last, couple of, last couple of games. Mm. I'm the biggest Jack Taylor fan you'll probably find. I drive the bandwagon and I'm back to put in. I thought as the graphics back, I should be back to putting Jack Taylor in it every single week. Yeah. So he, he was just left there. I, I didn't take him out. It's a shout. Um, yeah, I don't disagree. I think, Louis, I, I agree with you. I, I would have taken Massimo off half time, Rich, on Sunday. I think we said that. Oh, Saturday, sorry, we said that on Sunday. Um, he looked very leggy. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it's time for Jack Taylor to have a little go. Dom agree, says Mad mm. look tired. Charlie said, I think Taylor is better than Matt. I wonder that... no, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that, Charlie. I'll go with that as Jack Taylor's biggest fan. Yeah. There's no I'll evidence to suggest that, but, you know, it's, he's a good option from the bench anyway. Yeah. All to come in on tomorrow night. Mm. Would you start him tomorrow night, Rich? Jack Taylor. Yeah, for your local club? No. No. No? <laughs> You'll be celebrating that one. Bristol Street You'll never sing that. Oh, yeah, well done, Rich. And then, yeah. and then, and then, and then amazingly, everyone says, oh, I was doing the fucking show on Sunday, you numpty. Oh, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Everyone's saying, oh, no town. Who's your town What's sign down? now? He got two goals. Leif Davis might be leaving. Oh, let's go for Harrison Burrows. Some of these people have never fucking seen him. <laughs> Hang on. Play. Didn't you Good fucking moment. say in the WhatsApp group we should sign him? Yeah, but I've seen him play more than once. A lot of people oh, yes. are just going, yes. oh, I've just seen him on the telly. Oh, and he's scored that. Like, uh, yeah. The cross. Hey, question for everybody. What's the bigger trophy? The Bristol Street Motors trophy or the Mr. Clutch Cup that Norwich won with Mike oh, Bassett? Definitely. What's the definitely, bigger trophy? Definitely the Bristol Street Motors. It's got to be. It's got to be, isn't it? It's got to be. It's such a... It's, uh, Bristol Street... Uh, yeah, good luck. Well done. Street Congratulations. Congratulations. Right, would I play uh, Jack Taylor? No, I wouldn't tomorrow night. Why? So who's uh, playing instead? I'm Levanga, sticking with Luongo Levanga. and Sam Morsi. Tried and trusted in the midfield. But what if Matt is a little bit leggy? Well, he'll be right. He's got he's got a two week break coming up, and okay. the thing is, Jack Take Taylor for me, he, he he hasn't shown it for me when he started games. True, and that I like true. it when he comes on, like that game mm. against Southampton, and he's breaking forward, he's breaking the lines, and I don't think he does that from the start of a game because you you're just finding your feet and you yeah. into the game, mm. and he sits, look, sits a bit bit deep. Look, I'm a massive Jack Taylor fan. Martin and Matt, and I think you know mm-hmm. that. And I think sooner or later, he does have to get his head, get his start. But I, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I, I think he'll stick with okay. Longo, if I'm honest. Not that I'd be against playing Jack Taylor, because I think he could do a good job. But I just, I just see going with the partnership. The I partnership see, served as well. Yeah, I just see McKenna mm-hmm. sticking with what he knows. I'll, I'll bring Harry Clark in. I, I agree with you there, Martin. I think he should have played Saturday. Really. Yeah, Axel's done really well, but Clark gives yeah. you that different dynamic as well, doesn't he? Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. I, yeah, I did. Sure. I did expect Clark to play on Saturday against Norwich. I was surprised Twan Zabi kept his place. 
just because of that attack. Just because everyone said, like, you know, they, you, the pace kills Norwich at the back a little bit and they don't like crosses into the box, et cetera, et cetera. All turns they behind a great crosser in the box. But then, you know, what did we talk about Friday with Ben Adams, Rich? Morsey around that edge of the edge, edge of the D, around the penalty area, floating it into the back stick. We didn't, we didn't see that either, did we? So everyone was nullified. Well, we it? never got behind them and we never got really, never. when we got wide. Amari's a different player. I'm not starting Amari tomorrow night. I think he sits on the bench. I think he's he's been very good, Martin, this season. But I think Sarmiento deserves a start. I think he's been lively when he's come on the last few games. I even thought where's he was he quite playing? lively. So where's he going to um, play? I'm not, I'm not sure. He can play off the right because he yeah, went he over do, there yeah. in the second why half, not? didn't he? Yeah, and, yeah why not? Um, yeah. Look, you, you could make a case for all three of them front players not starting tomorrow night because yeah, yeah, none of them had a great game on yeah, But who do you Saturday, think will start? Well, I think Chaplin starts because I want to see more from Chaplin. I was talking to Craig early and he's right what he says. If you look at the games this season, guys, how many times has Connor Chaplin been man in a match? Yeah. Not point. many. Compared to last season. But or as, level blow, as, yeah. as, mm, as a yeah, but as, It is level because blow. as a 10, he has to affect the game. I... I a lot more, especially away from home. This is the stage of the season when you mm. come into these big moments. And last season, they all stood up, didn't they, when we went to Bolton, mm. Peterborough, Derby, mm. Barnsley, Martin. They all played their part. And this is where we need your Connor Chaplins now and your Broadheads. Might see it. Might see it. Yeah. They, have to, they have to step up now. And you can't just be do a little bit here and there. I want to see Chaplin run the game tomorrow night. Get on the ball. Look, he'll probably, he's good for a goal. It's them two away games that worry me for our attacking players because they haven't shown anywhere near. And when Craig came on the other week and he had a few people moaning in the chat because he called us toothless away from home. And we are. And we are. We're totally different at home. Look, we've got the crowd with us. We attack wave mm. after wave. So it mm. is a little bit different. And Chaplin's always good. He's right around that penalty spot, only Matt. I wouldn't be surprised mm. if he gets on the score sheet tomorrow night. But mm. as for Amari, I think we still have to... Where is his best position? I, I still think it's a 10. I know Martin probably disagrees. I think in a 10, I'd play Ch um, Hutchinson away from home in the 10. If you look at the Millwall game, when yeah. he played in there, he won the though. game. They yeah, but he got, he got on the ball and he, as, as far as I'm concerned, a 10 gets on the ball and he dictates play. Who dictates play for us? Sam Morsey. Yeah. Sam Morsey is like a defensive midfielder. Yet, if he doesn't play... Ipswich don't play. We don't <laughs> yeah, play if yeah. Sam Morsey yeah. doesn't play. Because you see on Saturday, Matt, the last 20 minutes when Morsey got on the ball and started them driving runs forward, we started to play a little bit better. Until then, nuts, yeah. no one. But look. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. I'll, I'll play Sami and so I think he deserves a start. Um, and then and then you've got Amari off the bench. Look, we're still missing. I see today he uh, mentioned Dinny Hurst and... Wes are obviously back on the grass. He's hoping they're going to be available for that final week, which would be a, a massive boost. Yeah. But you're missing that sub now, aren't we? With Burns being injured, yeah. you're one sub Impact. down. Mm. So you're... But then could he start a Jackson tomorrow night as well, Martin, maybe? That's what I was could, thinking. Could, could start Caden Jackson wide. Caden done all right could against... Do. South, South, yeah. South, Southampton, he played on it. Yeah. Yeah. Southampton, yeah, done all right. Could see him again at home, maybe. That would then give you more options off the bench. Yeah. I'd like to see Sarmiento on that left instead of Broadhead. The Broadhead was all right when he came off the bench against I think we scored for crying out loud. So, yeah, I think we can change it up. Yeah, I, would, I would give Chaplin another go uh, against Watford at Portland Road, definitely. Under lights. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, George says, Hi, Gov Crutcher, I'd like to invite you to hospitality with me when I next do it. So, say thanks for letting me have a voice on the platform. I can't thank you all yeah. enough. Hang on. He's just remember Matt's name, not the short fella. <laughs> yeah, thanks, George. I preferred him when he called him the short fella. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I did. That's quite funny. <laughs> Otherwise, it's brilliant. Um, so, the shy shot would start Samiente before Jackson. That'd be very kind of you, by the way, George. Thank you very much. That would be very kind of you. Very nice um, gesture. Thank you. Very nice gesture. Um, I said, said no, no, no tequila tonight, just getting off work. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was on the tequilas the other night. Yeah. Blimey. It was lively. Lively in the Discord. Come and meet was... ITFC beat in our Discord, everybody. Is it there? He certainly is. Yeah. yeah. Why is he funny? When he posted a picture of himself in the kitchen at Yo Sushi with a like a his net, a, beard net, with a net over his beard, yeah, beard Did net, hair hygiene. Yeah. Hmm. See, I wouldn't know Maybe. that because my it's my Discord server, but I'm not in it. Um, well, you're <laughs> busy getting ready for hospitality, doing your hair, aren't you? That's the issue. Oh, God. Do your own hair. 
<laughs> James, don't be negative. After a great season, Moore should not have played Saturday and should have played tomorrow night. Do you think he's fit enough to play? McKenna made a big mistake playing Moore. I'm starting Moore. Well, yeah, I mean, look, Richard, I think you summed it up Sunday. If everyone, if, if we'd started with Ali, everyone would have been moaning. Why is Keith Moore not playing? It's only in hindsight everyone goes, actually, no, he wasn't that great. We didn't get any service either. No one was good on Saturday, were they? It would have been a, it would have been a huge call from McKenna to play Al Hamidi uh, from the start of Carroll Road. He's not it's started massive. a game. He's not started a game, has exactly. he? Yeah, and so, he's carrying an injury. I'm sure he'd have stepped yeah, up. There you go. He's, he's carrying an injury as well. Abductor, mm. isn't it? Abductor strain or something. Roy, he... not... on Sky, they said. Oh, okay. He did it lively when he came on. But yeah, he did all right. When it's you fair. come on and when you start, and it's two totally different things for me. Mm. 100%. And he gave, he gave him a bit of a different option, didn't he? Because you got obviously Ben Gibson and Duffy, they like the ball in the air. And that's probably. Yeah. You could, you could say Ali could have started, but I still think that would have been. We didn't put them under any pressure. We didn't put them two under any pressure whatsoever, did we? Annoying. That was the annoying thing. Missed you've signed Kiefer Moore. You, you signed Kiefer Moore here from a um, a Premier League team to come in and make a difference, didn't you? <laughs> George is literally he is, he's he is tonight, trolling you tonight. He is trolling you, yeah. so Rod. You're killing me, but I can take it. It's all good. I've had worse. I've had worse. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, we, yes, you have. Uh, Dominic Dean will start Clark over Axel. I've put Travis in for Mass. Oh, God, Travis. Forgot about him. Well, forgot about, about him. him. <laughs> yeah. Um, but and... it, 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 he's, he, he's very, uh, well, he's CDM all over, isn't he? Travis. Oh, you yeah. want to live maybe a little bit more on the front foot at home against mid table team, I would suggest. But who knows? Could be a shout. Uh, and Jeremy looks a bit peeved. He's not starting. I'd put him over Broadie. Um, I've gone for Broadhead. Obviously, I know you two have sort of debated that um, again. Nigel said, Gov wasn't doing his hair. He was seeing Freddie at Stomach at Osteopaths. I've not Yay. seen Freddie, sadly, in a while because he's been too busy dealing with all you wonderful people's uh, requests for physiotherapy and osteopath needs. Give Freddie a call. It could be the best decision you make this year. Yes, all right, we're only in April. But it could the fisherman sent me a WhatsApp. It's saying, the big question is, do you dye your beard? No, I don't <laughs> dye my beard. I've got some grey hairs in my beard here. Well, there you go. You see, if Mine, you do you like your beards, Freddie's you got a beard at stomach at osteopaths. Let me finish the advert, boys. Sorry. Sorry. Please. Sorry. I, you're still going. The advert is still going. The advert's still going. Yeah. Don't cut across the advert. The paid advertisements, right. boys. All right. Jesus. You don't get us an to ICV, do you? When Laura Woods reads out a link, you do not get Ian Wright cut across saying, Two let minutes me tell long, you though. about my beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, come on, boys. Let me read it out. 01449 613 633. Stomach osteopaths for physiotherapy and osteopath needs. Matt, no, you can try. Hey, the only reason you've not been there is because you keep going to the dentist. Correct. Yeah, I'm not, really, I'm, not, I'm not plugging anybody involved with dentistry yeah. at the moment. Not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. Industry, yeah. Oh, um, George is on fire tonight in the in the chat. It's great to see. We've been on fire in terms of a show. That was that was really really enjoyable. 53, 53 minutes. Where's that gone? Um, anything else before we come to the score predictions that you would like to mention? Uh, say, give an opinion on. Oh, you're oh, quiet. Oh, all the games now on Sky to the end of the season. Is Watford on normal Sky tomorrow? Is it red no, button? Red button. Red I think button. Tomorrow night. Red button is it tomorrow? Okay. And Town TV. So middles were obviously. The final 3 p.m. kickoff. Oh yes, it would be. Yeah, of course. Yeah. On Saturday, I yeah. think they are Ooh. announcing Player of the Year as well on um, Saturday after the game. I think they're presenting it. Who are you game? Who with? are? Well, Who are? The club. Sorry, is it game 45 on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we, the, the votes have all been done, Martin, two, three weeks ago. By who? Yeah, we support you club. The official support club. Oh, okay. Well, no okay. one bloody asked me. Oh, oh, you, you, oh, you who, need do you who do you vote for? With Beer Kowski. <laughs> that's, that's vote. But us, Beer Kowski. Can't close a vote. That's like closing the X Factor vote before uh, the, the final. Bit, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah but hang on, we know who's going to be player of the year now. It doesn't matter. Well, you, you're going to say Morsi. 100% Morsi. 100%. Who's your player of the year? Um, that's a good know. question. Good question. I mean, I, I would have probably mm, yeah, a month ago. I probably would have said Haladki, but maybe you know. More so. Hold on. I mean, you on. have you have got a, you know a, a leading assist maker in a, you know, from left back. At Le left back. That's unbelievable. That yeah, second. I do agree with that as well. Probably second. You know, yeah. um, 
Drinnen, I would have said, but he obviously didn't play for us anymore. Um, no. Joe Piggott, 20 goals. Joe, 20 goal, Joe Piggott. Became the dream. Rapping Harper, he's a Rolls Royce of a mid. <laughs> 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 um, I think Leeds a good shout. I mean, look, that that is a record-breaking season for him. That's a great shout. And look, he's beaten Jorginho Rutter to that 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 total at the moment. It costs twenty odd million. From the but more sees that Morky's the or the leader of the orchestra, Matt. Uh, yeah, without true. him, without him, we though. are. Um, yeah, I don't disagree. And we still, obviously, he's Peaceful. still sitting on thirteen mm. yellow cards, isn't he? So hopefully, another game passes tomorrow night without um, <laughs> Sam getting a yellow. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I, I don't. I, I, I only get asked to vote. So it doesn't really matter who I thought. So I used to like yeah. it when I used to go around the buckets. Yes. Mm. Inside the ground. Much and much and much also, better. can we bring back the kits? Bring you know, bring four blokes round in in four potential kits, and you've all got to vote on which kit you want. I used to go in the shop, put your tick yes. on the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great times. Great bring times. that back yeah. let us put the power in people's hands then you'll get more leisure pounds out that of people not me but you so will. the season when we got the the txu energy shirt the one we went got relegated in from the premier league i'm sure that was a darker blue rich in the club shop when it was in on the mannequin uh, and it was when it actually not was sure. I can't really remember. what bloody hell that's 22 years ago man yeah this is always years ago. For me. that was too light blue that that was too light for me this is one of the reasons why we went down i like that shirt nice shirt that was Did you like it yeah it was all right was beating to milan in that shirt to be fair and Armstrong. Yeah. But you see, all things like that. Again. Why don't they do that anymore? Bring, you know, like, and because like, next season, that? next season's kit's already been signed off. Anyway. Man, it's all about the. But see, that was our own brand, wasn't it? That was the, the punch brand, wasn't it? It's all Umbro, and that's going to probably and, go to Castor at some Castor. point. It's and what about the Golden man. Gamble sellers? Golden and Gamble, get golden your Golden Gamble, gamble tickets here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bring him back. You know, what they should, you know, what they should bring back, Matt. Go on. Do you remember the little spud men on the scoreboard when yeah, we scored? We yeah, we love oh. them. Get them they could easily bring them back, surely. That's love easy. Love them to do. dancing across the. Oh, yeah. Little... yeah. Talking of bringing things back, can we please bring back the actual clock on the match day clock? I like to know what time it is without looking at my phone. It was great. Oh, you look at the scoreboard; it read seventy-four minutes oh. and fifteen thirty-six. You like oh, right? You want, that's what you want. That's what you want, is it? Yeah. Don't want you back, Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Hey, man, why, why do you need to know so, yeah. the time? I just, I just, like I just to want know. to know the time of the game. How long we got left? Well, my, as, my we're dear Nan, ourselves, she... as we're shitting yeah. ourselves in the last five minutes with a one goal lead. Yeah. My dear Nan, she travels by, by bus. You know, I need to know what time to say. Go on in, off you go. You can work it out though, can't you? It's a three o'clock kickoff. You know, like, uh, half you hour can't work out anything. What, 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 nowadays, Matt, we've yeah, got eight just... minutes. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. I'll give you that one. Yeah. I'll give you that. Like, yeah. just, it's a good point. I agree with you now. So yeah, I agree with you. Well, it didn't take up much space. It didn't cause no harm. All right, they weren't paying for it. You know, the talking clock wasn't paying for, you know, to, to appear on the board. And Mark Ashton likes you to pay to appear on the board. But it's pretty I'll tell you what I'd like them to bring back. Trains from Chelmsford on a weekend. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're running this Saturday. I'm going to have to check. No <laughs> chance of that, mate. They're bleeding no the noise. Yeah. Well, if you paid them enough, they wouldn't start going straight, would they? But anyway, score predictions, please. It's going to be. Who wants to go first? I've been, I was thinking about this earlier. I was giving it some considerable thought. 2-0 town. Come on. On to 90 points we go. There you go. I'll take it. That is true. I won't see the best in hospitality. That is true. <laughs> yeah, that um, makes no difference, does it? Yeah. No. I wonder if you get money back for that. Because it's only it's a Brady. What's the time, Aidy? If you don't want your tickets tomorrow night, by the way. <coughs> no idea. Have you sold them back to the club? Have I, hell? No. Why? Why? You just get some I money forgot, back. Because I forgot there was, a, there was an option until it's too late. thinking about menu options. I was. Mm. To be fair, I already put that in this morning. Tommy got to be there tomorrow. 5.30. What time is doors? Yeah, that's good. That's good. You've got a couple of hours to enjoy yourself, haven't you? Six Do you have parking Six space? Three. No, no, sadly not. So we've got to park in the old normal car park. Oh, well. That's no parking. That's not yeah. so bad. No, it's not so bad. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, well, I might not park there because you've got to, you can't get away early, can you? Um, how much is a pint in there? How much is a pint? Pint of beer I in don't there. know. I don't, I don't drink pints of beer. 8.50 in the cliffs last night. £8. Pounds. Event prices. 
Yeah. Sorry, oh, Rich, Rich, Rich saw this. Right yeah, yeah, the O2, the O2 was, the O2 was O2. about 9 nine fifty, I think. Yeah, lumps. Lumpy, Eight pounds fifty. It was all right. Your brother-in-law was paying, so it was, it was all good. Oh, we'll have two Enjoy then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. There's a big chance Ooh, in the middle breaking. of the game. I'm, I'm on. I'm on flash scores. Breaking. Big, big chance normally means a goal. Big chance. Oh, no, it's I a big know. chance to Millwall as well. Come on. I doubt that. I doubt that. Oh, it's it's a big chance. It's a big... Yes! yes! Come on, the wall! Come on, you liar! Come on! Do, 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 do. Okay, talking yeah. to that, talking to that, I watched about five minutes. It was all I could bear of talk Norwich City. Oh, oh, God, oh my God. Lord. It was you painful. Did they were... there. Yeah, they were... Jack oh. and Chris were both pissed as well. Were they really? Yeah. 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 I, I, I was... celebrate, eh? So one nil to Millwall. Millwall. Happy days. Yeah, it doesn't say the score yet. So I couldn't there you do go. that, you know. I, I couldn't broadcast piss. I could barely do it sober. We've done that before, haven't we? The one of the Christmas shows, the early Christmas shows we did. I'm you sure two might done have done. Piss. Yeah, I think when we had the takeover, one of them we probably yeah. done about. Oh. We probably had a few that day. Potentially. I think I was pissed when I done the Barnsley show for you, Martin. In the three 0 I was singing. The yes, episode. your oh. cheeks were very rosy. Yeah, I do remember. Looking at my yeah, anyway, what, anyway, what a great idea from the point. club tomorrow morning putting Hull and Coventry tickets on sale at the same time. Brilliant. Well done, boys. Is that a good you, idea or is that a bad idea? I don't mm, know. Oh, okay, I think you can stay on and put them in your basket. So I'll oh, get okay. mine. Don't worry. I wonder how many um, comps we're giving away for them games. Mm. Watch this space. Yeah. Break the, club a, the club won't send me a Coventry comp ticket. I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's not a promotion party unless I'm there. Longman, a longman has scored. Come for, on. Um, so let's have a look at the live table. What is the live table? Yeah? I can Leicester, see table. Leicester on 88. Yeah. Leeds 87, Ipswich 87. What a moment tomorrow. Fuck it now. Snowing our hands. This is what, this is what I'm saying. Days, you know, they, they've got to go. Leicester got to go to Plymouth on Friday night, I think. Got pressed Plymouth, 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 Plymouth for the points. West Brom at home as well. Come yeah, up. well, West Brom are now down to sixth because Norwich are going up to Chris Beaming. Love they dropped that. It would make me laugh. But we need them to beat Leicester, don't we? Whilst we pick we up do. three points. Yeah. Um, um, we're back tomorrow right. with me. You said, hang on. You said 2 0. Rich, what did oh, you yes. say? Um, look. Hang on. But do town ever do it easy? No, they don't. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. What's this going? 4 3 again? I'll go and have a 3 2. <gasps> Seventh. <laughs> Seventh three-two win of the season at Portman Road. Look, they've got some good players. They've got that Aspria, I like him. Emmanuel Dennis is a good player. Is Jake Livermore still running around there, Martin? I think he was. He played in the, the game at um, yeah, Jake Livermore Road. Yeah, he's so, playing the last game, yeah. I think. If he's still there, that Jamal yeah. Lewis, I think uh, from yeah. Norwich, the fullback plays for him. They've got some good players. They've got hmm. some good players. We just got to be on it, haven't we? We just got to be on it. Yeah, They're get an early big. goal. Get an early goal. Get the crowd behind us because there'll be a few nerves there weren't there but i think we're at portman road we're on our own turf we'll um mm. we'll come out victorious we could be back top of the league. could be back yeah, top right. of the league you never know can you imagine yeah. top of the league with four games to go twists and mm -hmm. turns to come this is right it livermore was an unused dub bridge by the way he was a good player Thanks. for town i liked him when he was on loan with andros townsend he give um a I've got his training top when we beat Leeds United 2 1. You give it to Elliot when we were in the North Stand. Nice. Jason <laughs> Scotland scored that day, I think. <laughs> Jason Scotland, yeah. Nice. Brilliant. Nice. Mm -hmm. Right. So we are back tomorrow, match reaction. There will, there will be a sh there will not be a show from the statue because of oh, the win. Because he's on the lash and he? he wants to be in there. Do you, do you stay no. going after the game and see who the man in the match is? Do they come in there? Um, that didn't factor into my thinking at all. I have to be honest. Um, so Frank's going to be going. Frank's Frank's over with, for the game tomorrow. We're rung. We'll yeah. Have to see him on Saturday. So I hope he doesn't go to the statue waiting for Gov after the game to do the show. Well, because Gov won't be there. No, we'll no, see him Saturday. no. We'll see, we'll see I, 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 I could have thought about it being. I mean, hospitality. I will come to the. I will come to the statue Saturday as well because I want to meet. Well, Frank. good. But I, I, I honestly, I sat down and thought about it, and I, I could have thought about the hospitality being warm and there being a, an after game refreshment and the and the man of the match being in there. Um, but I, I didn't. That didn't enter my thinking at all. What it was was oh. the wind and how dark it would be. The wind. Um, What's it? What? what? Too windy. much. Too much roast beef. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I just thought, you know, it's not. It's not a safe working condition uh, in environment. Oh, health so, and safety. Mm. Yeah. 
Um, so I thought for the you know, for, for for everybody else, I'll cancel the show and I'll have to go and do those things I mentioned at the start there, where I have to go and sit in the nice warm hospitality and enjoy if the you are, If you send me the link, Helpful. I'll probably I'll probably pop on Matt while I'm walking back to the car. If you want, there oh, you the go. Gov's still, the gov's still controlling the buttons. I'm just he, I'm, mm. I'm just bringing the talent. But I can send you it now. The, he's, he's, ready. The, he's the puppet master. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be sat there. Leo. And then we're back Friday. At... We're back Friday night, yeah? You are both back Friday. You are joined by oh. Ben Adams on Friday. Ah, oh, Milk Train Man. Yes. Can, we Mil roll Tray out Man. 18... Can we roll out the uh, Club 1878? Yeah. Would that be great? That I can try and find that yeah. out. Yeah. Find yeah. it. Find yeah. it. We like that. Yeah. Um, but I yeah, remember back in the day, Friday. back in the day when we used to do that long intro you used to do, didn't you? With the countdown. We're not afraid. Oh, Talking sounds extra time. And we had some great disco music. Yeah, bring that it's back. Some fantastic. Friday. I remember one night I got me disco. I've got me a little disco light in here before we started, and it was like flashing around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Um, anyway, positive yeah. minds tomorrow. Positive minds. Positive minds needed. This calling the same. Come on, yeah, um, yeah. There we go. So thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, join it's this nice. man tomorrow with a host of friends. Um, not his, they're mine. I'm just, I'm, I'm asking yeah, them, yeah, begging yeah, them to come yeah. on the show um, yeah. with him uh, for the match. match yeah, please. It's be a one man show with me. Imagine that. <laughs> He's in the cruncher. You will see him tomorrow at Portman Road. But until tomorrow, in town, hopefully take three points off. Watford. Cheers. Cheers. You made me smile when I think of you. If I yell down low and I yell blue, I can't get enough. Oh, that's my You make me happy, I feel so fine. Oh, how I wish that you were mine. I can't get enough. Crazy from just the thought of you